Hi everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com back to you with a quick tip about using Microsoft To Do. So you may be asking, how can I sort my items in Microsoft To Do? Well, if you go to the any task list in To Do, at the top right corner of the list, there is going to be a drop-down menu that you can choose the sorting option for your list. and you'll notice that there's no option for customizable sort. There's alphabetical, based on importance, there's creation date, but there's no mode that lets you actually drag and drop your to-do list items in a specific order. But I found a workaround for this problem and I've been using it every day to help sort my tasks in the highest priority according to me. What I do is I choose alphabetical sorting and there's a little trick about alphabetical sorting that if you put a star at the beginning of the name of the task, the task description or task name, the task with the star character at the beginning, when sorted alphabetically, will actually appear at the top. So that's one simple way that you can make tasks move to the top of an alphabetically sorted list. Going further than that, let's say you want to move something even further above that list, that item you can also use spaces. And the more spaces you put at the beginning, the higher it will rank in the ordering. So what I typically do is, if I want to make a task jump up in the ordering in my alphabetical list, this also works for the planned view as well. What you can do is put a star at the beginning of the task name, and then keep pushing the space bar as much as you want the task to be important. The more you push the space bar, the more spaces you add, and then the higher the task will appear in the sorted list. And then to close off that amount of spaces, I like to put another star and then a space. That's optional, but I find it works very well to kind of capture those spaces together. And the way that Microsoft To Do on the desktop app version on Windows works is that it will actually sort the tasks with the star and a bunch of spaces higher than tasks with fewer spaces or no spaces and stars at all. So this is one tip I use if I want to work on a very important task and I'm going to move it higher in the list for me. I add a star and some spaces and it jumps up more to the top of my list. And I find by using the plan view, what I do is I set the dates on the task to be the date that I want to think about the task next. Even though it says due date, I don't actually set that as the due date. I set that as the date I want to actually think about it next because that way it will pop up in my plan view uh, for everything that I want to think about today is set to the today's date. I use plan view almost like a daily to-do list rather than the my day option. Anyways, these are a few tips about using Microsoft to-do. Hope this was helpful and for more tips please click subscribe below and please leave your comments and questions in the comments below. I'm happy to share more tips and ideas on how to use Microsoft to-do more effectively. If you're new to Microsoft to-do and you want to check it out, you can go to todo.microsoft.com and access it for free as long as you have a Microsoft account, which is also free. Or if you have a work Microsoft account and your company enables to do license for your Office 365, you'll also be able to install and use Microsoft to do both on the web and as a desktop application, and maybe even on your phone as well. There's a really good mobile app available. That's all for now. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.